Anthropic has launched its own son of Anton. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not son of Anton from Silicon Valley. It is computer use. I mean, I can't believe somebody from a big company has come up with a model name that is literally called computer use. I used to think advanced data analysis is the worst name that OpenAI came up with, but computer use became the worst name ever named for a feature. That aside, this is excellent development for the future of computing. If you know robotic process automation or short called RPA, there's a big incumbent in that it's called UiPath. And a lot of things that UiPath would do or are required to do could be completely automated with just single voice command using a Claude's computer use. So now what is computer use? Computer use is an environment or a computer use is a model setup through which you can control certain softwares. Users command, if you give a command, the model can take the cursor, move around the computer, computer screen to be precise, click a relevant locations, input certain information. So basically, like for example, if I'm on the screen and I'm telling you, hey, can you go to the address bar and go to uh, the YouTube channel of One Little Coder, then it would actually go to YouTube.com, search for One Little Coder, click the channel. It is quite insane the things that it can do even in the first release. It's very easy to use if you have got Anthropic API access. As of now, I don't have API access, so I could not use it. But if you have got Anthropic API access and you have got Docker, all you have to do is this. You have to add your API key and then run this with your Docker enable, then you'll be able to access the computer use model. I mean, it's, it's still a terrible name, but that's the name that we are going to go with. So why computer use? Like when you can develop uh, models uh, or when you can uh, do things like open AI, why do you want to develop something called computer use? So this is important because according to them, a vast amount of work in today's life happens via computers. So if you can enable AI to deal with computers, this could be a huge productivity unlocker and, and trust me to be honest in big tech companies a lot of people every day all their job is come click a bunch of buttons go here and there that leave the job maybe drink coffee here and there have lunch but the point here is that a lot of people's jobs could be automated if this becomes mainstream and how did they build this that is quite fascinating to be honest so the way they build it is they taught Claude or the trained Claude to understand every single pixel so if you present a screenshot, if you give a screenshot to Claude, because that's what it sees ultimately. So Claude can understand the uh, screenshot, look at every single pixel, vertically or horizontal, and decide to which position, where to which coordinate it has to move the cursor, and then click certain thing, input certain thing. So training Claude to count pixels accurately was a critical step for them to unlock this and according to them, they've made a joke as well. So this is, um, you know, uh, without this skill, the model finds it difficult to give mouse commands, similar to how models often struggle with simple seeming questions like how many A's in the word bananas. So because you need to understand the most fundamental unit and this particular case, the most fundamental unit is pixel. So if you were to understand how is this model doing, the model is doing particularly great. It's not as close as human beings yet. So the model is uh, something that you know, it gets 14.9 on a benchmark called OS World. So if you go here, OS World, this is a benchmark for multimodal agents for open-ended tasks in real computer environment. So this model, if you go see the benchmark that they've got, they've evaluated it on a bunch of different tasks. And if you look at the models that access it through screenshot, nothing else, just the screenshot. Claude 3.5 Sonnet with 50 steps has scored 22. Claude 3.5 Sonnet with 15 steps has scored 14.9 and the next best model is GPT-4 vision that is just 7.69. So literally, I mean, literally overnight or probably over a few months, 
Claude 3.5 Sonnet has doubled the power of a multimodal agent that can do real life computer related tasks. And like I said, it's very easy for you to use it. You can go here, run it in a Docker. The only catch here is that the Claude is uh, open AI, sorry, Anthropic is very particular about this particular feature. So they have given you a lot of information. So first of all, if you were to use it, try to use a dedicated virtual machine. Just don't necessarily give access to your entire computer or probably don't give access to sensitive data, don't give access to your username, password, and a lot of other uh, safety regarding um, features. One interesting thing I found from the demo that they showed is, there is a researcher or a, there is a developer relations engineer, and he literally goes to this uh, Claude computer use, and then he tells Claude computer use to use Claude AI and create a 90s style website. and I mean, it's like inception. It literally goes to the browser, Google Chrome, opens Claude.ai, asks it to create a code in 1990 style website, takes the code, downloads the code, then opens the code in Visual Studio code and initiates a Python server and then opens up and then you can go open the file. I mean, it's quite surreal to see this, all these actions could happen uh, without any issue at all. That's primarily because Claude 3.5 Sonnet, the latest model, can understand pixel. I'm not sure like what kind of other things it can do. At this point, I'm definitely looking forward to try out this model. So I'm probably going to register for Claude API access. And this is quite insane. The fact that, you know, the world in which we live a lot of life, lot of jobs dependent on just literally clicking a bunch of cells, bunch of buttons every single day. Um, I, I, I don't know what is going to happen to them. I'm not, I mean, if, if you present this kind of an opportunity to a big enterprise, I guess most likely they'll take it, even if it is inside a virtual sandbox environment, like VDA, virtual desktop environment. So I don't know what is going to happen to those jobs. But for now, with this terrible name computer use, we have got our own son of Anton. I hope it doesn't shut down any um, electric power grid. See you in another video. Happy prompting. So I'm Sam, and I'm one of the researchers here at Anthropic. Computer use is something that we felt was going to be important for a while now. And so today we're going to be talking about a very early version we have of computer use and talking through a representative example of the things we think it's going to be useful for. We're going to be going through a quick demo today. In this fictional demo, a customer, in this case, the Ant Equipment Company, has come to us and asked us to fill out a vendor request form. The data I need to fill out this form is scattered in various places on my computer. What we're gonna do is ask Claude to look at the spreadsheet, check if AMP equipment is in there, and if not, move over to the CRM and try and find some more information there. Once it has this data, Claude's gonna then fill out the form for us and hopefully transfer the information across to the, the vendor form. The first thing that's gonna happen is Claude's gonna start taking screenshots of my screen and quickly realizes that the Ant Equipment Company isn't actually in the spreadsheet. So the first thing it does is it swaps over to a CRM and searches for the company we're interested in. Luckily, we get a search match and Claude then starts scrolling through the page, looking for all the information it needs to fill out this form. Claude then autonomously starts transferring the information across without me having to do anything. And goes through the steps and fills out all the information needed. And then submits the form. This example is representative of a lot of drudge work that people have to do. This is available in the API. We're excited for people to try it and we should expect things to get a lot better over the coming months.